Welcome back to Topic 7 for Algebra 1, Write, Solve, and Graph Linear Inequalities. In Part 2, we're going to focus more on solving linear inequalities, particularly one-step and two-step inequalities. Let's start off with some notes. So if you either add or subtract the same number from both sides, again, we want to keep that property of equality from topic one in mind, the inequality remains true. If we multiply or divide by the same positive number, the inequality also remains true. However, if you either multiply or divide by the same negative number, the inequality sign must flip. So this is really important and we're going to go into some examples and see why that works and why some things don't work. Our instructions are to solve the inequality and I'm also going to have us graph just for extra practice. Number one, first we're going to practice reading the inequality. This reads x minus 5 is greater than 7. So our goal, just like solving equations, is to isolate that variable. In this case, it's x. So what we do to one side, we must do to the other. Since this is x minus 5, since I see subtraction, the inverse of subtraction is addition. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides. Negative 5 plus 5 adds to 0, so we're just left with x on the left-hand side. Then we have 7 plus 5, which gives us 12. Since we added the same number on both sides, the equality remains true. So this is x is greater than 12. If we were to graph this on number line, since x is greater than 12, this is an open circle, and x is all of the values that are bigger than 12. So we're going to shade to the right. In our next example, we have 2x is greater than negative 10. So again, we want to isolate that x. It's tied to the 2 via multiplication, so we're going to look at the inverse, which is division. Divide both sides by positive 2. And again, what we do to one side, we have to do the other. On the left-hand side, 2 divided by 2 reduces to 1x, so we're just left with x. And negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. Now because we divided by a positive number here, this is a positive 2, our inequality remains true. So we do not need to change our inequality at all. Just x is greater than negative 5. Oftentimes, students get a little stuck because they see that their inequality, or the value, I should say, once they simplified, negative 10 divided by 2 in this case, gave them a negative number, so they think that they actually have to change their inequality. Nope, it all relates to the number that you multiply or divide by. In this case, it was positive, so we don't need to change anything. We can graph this, though, on our number line mark our negative 5. This is an open circle because x is greater than negative 5, so we're going to shade to the right. Now in our next example, we have negative 2x is greater than negative 10. So this is very similar to example number 2. We're going to divide because this is negative 2 times x. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is just 1x, so we're left with x, and negative 10 divided by negative 2 is positive 5. But here, 
we divided by a negative number. So instead of x is greater than negative 5, this is going to change to x is less than 5. So our inequality flips. If we were to graph this on a number line, we're going to mark our 5. x is less than 5, so open circle. And since x is less than, we're going to shade all the values that are smaller than 5. Now, why do we actually need to flip that inequality? Let's test something out. Okay, 5 is less than 6, correct? Last time I checked. What if I introduce the property of equality and I want to multiply both sides by a negative 1? Well, as long as what I do to one side, I do to the other. It's okay. So I'm going to multiply both sides by a negative 1. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. And 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. Now, is negative 5 smaller than negative 6? If we look to a number line, that is actually false. That is not true. Negative 6 is smaller than negative 5. Oops. Or negative 5 is greater than negative 6. So we're so used to, in algebra, seeing variables that oftentimes we can get a little tripped up and forget that those variables are standing for actual numbers. So in this example here, we show that, wait, those numbers actually have value. We can't make our statement false. We have to do what we can to make the statement remain true. Let's try one other example. Here we have 4y plus 10 is less than 8. This is a two-step inequality. So thinking back to topic three when we dealt with solving two-step equations, same thing here. What we're first going to do, since we want to deal with our third wheel or our stragglers first, we see 4y plus 10 is less than 8. We're going to subtract that 10 first. And what we do to one side, we're going to do the other. Feel free to also draw a vertical line if that helps you organize and differentiate from your left side to your right side. Negative 10 plus 10 adds to 0, so we're just left with 4y on the left side, and 8 minus 10 is negative 2. Now, since we only added or subtracted, our inequality remains true. Now we have 4y is less than negative 2. In order to isolate that y, we're going to divide both sides by 4. On the left-hand side, 4y divided by 4 gives us just 1y, or y. And on the right-hand side, we have negative 2 divided by 4. Again, careful here. We see a negative 2 here, but what we really want to focus on is we are dividing by a positive number. So our inequality is going to remain true. We do not need to flip anything. Negative 2 divided by 4. Now we could write it as just negative 2 fourths, but being mathematicians, we know that we could reduce this. We can divide the top and bottom both by positive 2, and this reduces to negative 1 half. So if we graph it, since y is less than negative 1 half, we have an open circle, and because y is less than, we are going to shade all the values that are smaller to the left, to the left. Everything I own in a box to the left. Okay, that was topic seven for Algebra 1. Write, solve, and graph linear inequalities. Thank you so much for watching.